Hi everybody, Terry Brown, Wired to Fish, and I am in the man cave. And actually, folks, you've been with me lots of times out here doing man cave videos, but we've done them in the warehouse part. This is the part where I actually work on tackle. It's super secret. I don't let anybody back here. It's one of those places where if somebody comes back here, I'm always worried about them getting into boxes and stuff. So I keep them out for the most part. But what I do all winter, and it's something I think a lot of you guys do as well, is I try to get things organized in a way that I can move back and forth from my boat. The nice thing about having a boat in the building with me is I can go out and I can move things back and forth. Recently, in the last few years, I've been able to build some deck boxes, which are very small, plain old boxes, watertight. And what I do is before I take each trip, before I have each tournament, I'll go practice. I know what baits I'm going to use. I know what baits I'm going to need. And instead of having everything in a compartment in the boat, what I've done is put them in small, plano, uh, airtight, loctite, watertight boxes so that I can have those for the, for the uh, day of the tournament. It's really essential, though, to be able to have your baits organized and have things organized in your bait selection to where you can come and pull things off of that. One of the things about this particular area is I've built shelves, I've got a lot of storage area, and I keep a lot of extra baits. But the thing I really like to do more than anything else is every time I get into a bait box, I like to reminisce a little bit. This is an old P70 Pop, pop uh, R made by uh, Pradco, and they've just come out again actually with this bait. But what I like to do is to check these baits and make sure that they've got good hooks on them. I do it on each and every bait. It takes a lot of time. A lot of times people will look at a bait and they'll say, boy, that bait's beat up, maybe we ought to get a new one. I actually kind of like them that way. We used to have a lot of the Rapala baits, in particular 11S, a jerk bait, that I used to hope they got beat up because those baits were actually better. But what I'll do is you'll take a bait, say for instance like this rattle trap here. It's got the chrome knocked off of it, it looks pretty bad, but with good sharp hooks it may be something just different enough that a bass will bite on. Each and every bait that I go through here, I make sure it has good hooks, has good split rings, no rust. If it has rust, I get rid of it. And that's exactly what I do. Now, as you look behind me, you can tell I've got a myriad of different baits back here. I've got shallow running crankbaits. I've got deep running crankbaits. All kind of in a different time of year where you're going to go out and use those baits. When I load my boat up, each and every spring, I only put the baits that I believe I'll use when I practice. So if it's a, a Reaction Innovation Skinny Dip or a Senko, uh, any of the baits like that, I'll have a little compartment and a little box made up for that. Then during the day of the tournament, I'll take a certain number of those baits, the ones that I got bid on, and they will be in my day box. They will be in the box that I use for that day. Another advantage of that day box is, is that when you pull that bait box out of there, you have to open up a lid, you have to do all that kind of stuff, or a big tackle box, you're always worried about getting water in it. I've got to worry about a box about this big is all I have to worry about to be able to get water on it. So when I have that rainy day, snowy, misty, whatever it is, I don't have to worry about ruining a bunch of tackle. It's kept dry, it's kept in a dry storage area, but I've got the stuff that I need to be able to be successful. One of the neat things about being able to work in an area like this is I can do it in my own time. We have a long winter here. We have a winter where it's uh, miserable cold. We got ice on the ponds. A lot of guys ice fish, and that's really good for them. For me, I'd rather work on tackle. I'd rather be the guy working on tackle, sitting in here, getting ready for the summer, getting ready for that soft water. That's what I do the best. This is Terry Brown. I'm in the man cave, and we're going to bring you more from the man cave from back in the storage area very soon.